What's going on YouTube? Check it out, Ed here with TGH. And I hope you got a few minutes today. Today's gonna be definitely a bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and put out a disclaimer, if you will. This is not gonna be the most positive video I've ever done. I'm just gonna try to be real with you guys for a minute. Kinda wanna let you guys in to what I've been dealing with, the way I've been thinking recently. I just want everybody to know that what we do is important. Um, I've been hearing some weird stuff out there that I've been preaching and that maybe I'm a leader of a, a cult. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to know that I want to address this. I want to do it in the best way possible. Um, we're going to also talk about some cool mail that I've already got to open. Yes, I got some stuff from TNT Balls. I've seen it. You haven't. So stay tuned to see that. Here we go, guys. I'm going to give you a very, very quick rundown of, you know, what it is that's been going on for the last few months. We're gonna compact it into a few minutes, short little nitbit story. Let's call it story time with TGH, okay? Check this out. In the beginning, there was a guy petrified. Now let me prove to you how scared I was. Do you guys see that beautiful, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Burmese, right there, chilling, relaxing, or is that a retake? I'm not sure, see, I'm still a novice, guys. I don't know everything. But if you look at my face, I am freaked out. Everyone's all having a good time staring. <laughs> but this guy is completely petrified. I was scared. I didn't want the snake on me. I didn't want the snake around me. I'll be honest with you, I didn't want to go to the reptile show. It was a pet expo that happened to have a section that had a whole bunch of amazing reptiles. We walked in, we experienced, and I got to vibe with other cool people. My wife, on the other hand, was completely obsessed and needed to have a ball python. So that day, we got one. Now, a couple months back, I go ahead and I get involved with a friend of mine who used to work for me. I gave him an opportunity um, you know, to work with the business that I was running at that time. And he worked for a good long time. There was an issue. Then he wasn't working with me. We separated you know, our friendship for over a year. We seen each other because we were living very close to one another at that point. And uh, you know, we said, what's up? We hugged it out and we wanted to do something cool. He told me about some amazing animals he had at his home. I went ahead, I took a look at those amazing animals. For the first time ever, I seen a banana inchy. It blew my mind and at that moment, my hand came out and I wanted to hold that beautiful snake. That changed my perspective on the animals. I started educating myself. I started seeing some of the cool ups and downs of having a ball python. And I noticed there wasn't too many downs. There was tons of ups. There was so much more I was going to get out of that experience. So Tone helped me out. He paid half for the snake. I obviously had to reimburse him back his money. And once I got that snake into my home, and once I was able to fill that, I was so excited and I started to see that he wanted his collection to grow and he couldn't do it because his spouse was just not on board with that. So at that time, I offered up my garage, trying to be the best friend I could possibly be and said, hey, let's do this. Let's kind of have some fun with this, get this out into the world. You know, I recorded the very first episode of The Genetic Hunters and I've told this story before. He was kind of under the impression I was just joking around with it because I kind of was. I wasn't sure if I was really gonna do it or not but we produced that first episode. I thought it was really cool and we continued on. As time progressed, things happened. Nothing is perfect in life and we kind of separated, we faded apart. We had different beliefs. I'm not here to bash anybody, but at the end of the day, you know, I needed help, you know, uh, it wasn't a monetary thing. It was more, please do what you're supposed to do. The initial agreement was uh, Tone would clean and feed all the animals and I would house them and I would pay for the electricity. That was the original deal. I felt like it was 100% fair. And so we did that. Uh, when it got to the point to where cleaning wasn't his job solely, and you know, I wanted to learn, I involved myself, so I started to help and I started to deal with the day to day stuff. I started doing, you know, the spot checking, the changing of the water bowls, those type of things. Uh, feeding time came, and again, supposed to be a sole responsibility of the other partner, and at that time, he wasn't able to do that, so we went back and forth here and there, and I'm not gonna lie, great dude, he went ahead, and every spare dollar he had, he put in to his reptiles. I love him for doing that. Tone, if you're watching this, 
I want you to know, bro, I don't think you're a bad guy. I think you're an amazing dude. I really appreciate you bringing me into this lifestyle, teaching me what you taught me. Unfortunately, I'm sorry we separated. And again, it's just because we both have two different points of view. He lives in Long Beach. I live in Marietta. It's a two hour drive away from one another. He wasn't able to do his cleaning and he wasn't able to do that stuff. Um, before I left out here, we had a deal where it was just for sure once a week he would come down to do the heavy duty cleaning. I would do some spot checking, I would do that, but I really needed him to scrub the tubs out and do some of that extra work. I wanted to feel the contribution coming my way because I was dealing with the home, the housing of them, you know, the electricity, which wasn't, isn't crazy, crazy, but you guys who keep multiple reptiles, you know, there's cost involved. It's a very, very expensive hobby. I love what I'm doing with it. So yeah, you know, I told him if you can contribute by at least cleaning, then that'll be the very, very best thing possible. That didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. We kind of knew there might be that. So I asked him one day after, you know, spending some dough on getting the feeders, I said, hey bud, I just paid for feeders next week. If you don't mind, I'd really appreciate if you reimburse me for that week. And uh, that didn't go over well and TGH at that time split. Okay, so there you go. That's the inside story. You guys know what's going on there. It was simple. It wasn't a big, big, big deal. But feelings are involved, emotions are involved, and so that happened, all right? Now, fast forward a little bit. Um, while I was there in Long Beach, we were there, well it's not a fast forward, it's kind of a little bit of rewind. Um, while I was still in Long Beach, before I moved out to Marietta, we invited some people to our home. Uh, I'm not gonna bash, but I mean, if you've watched the videos, you know who I'm talking about. Came to my home and vibed really well with us, relaxed, chilled, we did you know a really good hangout. And then um, the next day I started getting phone calls from people in the community. Some people I you know, just recently started talking to started telling me that I was being bashed and people were talking bad about me. And it wasn't people, it was one person at this time. And so I confronted them and I told them how, why is all this going on? And they basically said, it's not me, you got it wrong. And I said, okay, cool, because I'm a trustworthy guy and I like to feel that I can put that on to other people because you never know, this is a new industry, this is a new lifestyle for me and I just wanted to make sure to make the right friends. That didn't go too well. You guys are pretty familiar with that situation in the past, early on. So that was my first real experience with, you know, you know, my world getting shook. And then it was the tone thing. So me and tone separated. So that was the second time. And then, you know, a uh, great guy, a mentor, someone who gave me a lot of love early on. We talked for many, many, many hours on the phone. We would always co correspond with each other. There was the issue of Uper. Hey, Uper, if you're here, much love to you, brother. Um, there was the issue of Uper, and I made it very clear because I got a shout out very early on from Uper, which I appreciate, by the way, and I got a lot of negative feedback about that because I was associated with someone that other people didn't like. Now, I should have learned then that this was an industry where people kind of do that back and forth stuff, but again, new, not aware, not 100% sure of exactly what was going down with that kind of stuff. So I went ahead and I pushed on and I did tell my opinions to this person and I also spoke directly to Youper the exact same things verbatim that I told to the other person I said to Youper, but I guess that he felt that maybe I didn't say that or he just really, really was upset that day. He did a little bit of a rant and he kind of you know cursed me and a lot of other people. Now, when he did that, that was like my third big you know, punch, I guess you would say, and it hurt because again, I put in time and effort with this person and I considered them a friend. Now, recently again, it's happened again. And someone that I looked up to, someone that I really respected, you know, had an opinion about what I was doing. And instead of reaching out to me like they say they would do, um, no, they, they made a public video. The public video kind of went around and a lot of people reached out to me and they were like, what are you gonna do? You gotta rebuttal, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. So I didn't wanna directly rebuttal what was said. So I reached out to them directly like you should, okay? And we had a conversation, I was told, you're mistaken. And I was like, cool, do me a favor and let the world know that I was mistaken and they may have been mistaken because they're under the impression that video was made about me and what I'm doing, okay? It was another public video that went out saying, nope, we're not talking about Ed, that was cool, that made me very happy, I kept pushing on. Later on that day, in a live, I had a lot of 
I would say negative comments in the comment or not in the chat section. They were negative chats, basically saying what I was doing was wrong and it was taking away from other organizations and other things that are helping the community. I didn't think I was taking away from, I thought I was adding to the community and I still feel that way. Another big thing that hit me with that was, hey, you know, we're friends. We should behave like friends. We should look out for one another like friends. We shouldn't be doing back and forth stuff, backstabbing, all this kind of stuff, because that stuff has been going on for so long in our industry. I definitely think that what's been, you know, throwing shade on all the great things that our community does. Okay. That happened and I felt bad, I felt terrible, and I had a lot of my friends saying I needed to say something. And I felt that they were right, but I didn't know how to go about doing it. So I put out a video, I had done one in the garage already answering, uh, basically saying us as YouTubers, us as a community that put out content, we're able to do whatever we want on our channel. Nobody should be able to tell us what we should put out, okay? I'm standing right next to Rax, I could have a snake in my hand right now with no problem. But I want to talk to you guys and I want you guys to hear this, okay? So I didn't feel that that was okay. I had already put out that video, but that same person came to my live and like I said, was saying some pretty mean things and not supportive things within the chat. My friends, my supporters, you guys reached out and said, hey, you need to do something about this. now. I was influenced by the consensus of my friends and I don't think that's wrong because if we really all of us feel that I should do something like that and address an issue, maybe I should. So I went ahead the next day, it was a long drive, two hour drive from Marietta to Long Beach. My wife had to go to therapy. So here we go, driving out to Long Beach. So I said, it's gonna be a long drive, I might as well go live. But I had that feeling in my heart and I had to talk about it, so I did. It was pretty aggressive. It was basically calling out haters and saying, if you're a hater, if you're mean, all that, you're not welcome here on my channel. If you're talking mess behind closed doors and you're doing phone calls that are malicious, you're not welcome here on my channel. Um, and some very, very good friends reached out to me and said, hey, I didn't like that. I support you. It's in your best interest to not put out stuff like that because it's really not good if you're really trying to push a message of positivity for you to sit out here and kind of be extremely upset and yell at your camera. So I dropped that video, I deleted it because you know, they were right. So we've did that. Now we are here in the modern day, the now. And I've gone through this little bit of a journey and you guys have followed me with it. I appreciate you guys for that. I love you guys for that and I really mean that right here from the heart guys because if it wasn't for you showing so much support I wouldn't feel I wouldn't have that vibe I wouldn't have the energy to put out these videos every day I've been doing it not just once a day but twice a day guys you get your morning bit we get to hang out chat sometimes you catch it before work this one's a little late I apologize for that and we're still gonna do this but I definitely definitely wanted to make sure that I can touch base with my friends okay so we do that and then in the evening it's just a hangout, guys. Essentially, it's just a hangout. I try to give it a theme, maybe a very light topic, and we run with it. And essentially, we're just hanging out. We talk about, yes, hashtag positivity movement because the industry was screaming out for someone to answer the call, and I did. And if I've offended people because they had the opportunity for many years to do that on their own, I'm sorry, I just heard that call and I answered it. That's what I did, that's how I feel. I've also heard, Ed, you can show people positivity with your actions, you don't have to say it as much. Well, I have my racks, I have my animals. I started out just trying to get a pair for myself, something really cool, wasn't thinking about breeding as much. Yes, it was a thought, but it wasn't like, I'm gonna be a big breeder one day. And I still don't think that, guys. I think that I'm gonna be someone that produces amazing animals, and if my friends and family would like to have them, great. If I ever get to the point where I can go to a few shows, that would be cool, great. But I feel that I am proving definitively the positivity movement with my actions. Because again, I don't do it once a day, I do it twice a day, I vibe with my friends. If you email me, you know I get back to you. If you text me, you know I get back to you. If you call me, I may not get to answer every single call right there and then, but I call you back. I reach out to you, I let you know that I appreciate you 
doing that back and forth with me, that we're able to talk to one another, whether it be you just wanna tell me something, maybe you wanna uh, tell me about an issue that's going on in the community you'd like me to address, maybe you have a question, and I'm gonna tell you, I'll be the first to tell you, I'm a novice on my way to being a keeper. So if I can help you, I will. If I don't know the answer, I'll definitely reach out to someone that does and pass you on that way. I don't want people to think that we're not here to try to be useful and we're not here to help one another. If you have an organization, if you have something that you're doing and you need someone to go ahead and do that and help you by pushing that word out, guess what? I'm right here, let me know. I'd love to tell everybody what you're doing, how's it going, and what you're doing with it, how it benefits them in the long run. Guys, I appreciate you guys coming down here. I wanted to touch base with that. I basically wanted to tell you I love the support. I hate the negativity. I'm saddened by all the he said, she said stuff. If you know who I am, I appreciate you guys paying attention to what it is that we're doing as a movement and not really paying attention to the negativity and the drama. That being said, let's get back to the fun stuff. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down, like right there. Oh look, it stayed perfectly right there. That's cool. This came from TNT Balls. A little bit more love from a friend in the community. So here we go. TNT Balls, I opened it already, guys. Oh, ho, ho, I want you to see this. TNT Balls, right? That's just one side. Oh, oh, it's coming out. I don't want you guys to see it yet. All right, on the other side, TNT Balls. Check that out, email, right there. So email them, say what's up. Tell me that's not a really cool card. And it looks like really good quality. This is a really cool card. And then you open it up, there is this amazing message for me, and I love you too, Todd, you're amazing. And here's the magic stuff. Check that out. Oh yes, TNT Balls in the house with this amazing sticker. I think we should just go ahead, run it over there, and put it in the rack. Let's go do that. Again, guys, I appreciate what you guys are doing. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I'm not about hate. I'm not trying to cause drama. I just wanted you guys to know I've gone through a lot of it so far, and I'm just tired of it. It does nothing for me. It saddens me, and that's just the true deal, you know? It saddens me that there's so much negative going on in the world, and we could be doing so much better stuff, so much better stuff with our time. So here I am in my room. I'm setting up the phone on my bed ever so slightly so you can see what I'm doing there, and then bam, time to do this. Should we do it here? We're here, You're right here, right? We'll do it right here, I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. Bam! That's a really nice sticker. It's like super shiny and glossy. And then make sure it's nice and lined up. Right under our boy, G-rated reptiles. And bam, there you have it. Oh my goodness, I think that's cool. Guys, thank you so much for coming over here and hanging out. Thank you for hearing my story. I hope, again, you understand where I'm coming from. I think that us showing positivity is by being active members of our community. You know that's what I'm about. I hope you guys understand that. I don't want anyone to have any hate coming from my way. So I'll go ahead and say it again. Much love to you, Tone. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that one day we can overcome all of this and become friends again, because you know what? What the reality is, we shouldn't be doing this stuff. We all do need to grow up. I apologize on my behalf for anything I may have done to piss off or make anybody upset with me. Again, the other person that came to my house, you know who you are, you know what you did. I was offended by that. You didn't say positive things, you said negative things, and there was no grounding for that. There was no basis for you to do that, and it offended me, so I called you out on it. That's done, that's over. Um, for that first mentor that had a little bit of an issue, and he kinda just, I guess he said what was in his heart. I'm glad you were able to get that off your chest. I appreciate the fact that you were honest. You did email, I mean, you did text me after that. We texted back and forth, and you said, um, you know, I don't remember exactly, but you just said that you needed to basically get it off your chest, okay? So I'm glad you did that. Much love to you. And to the new person now who's uh, been kind of out there stirring things up, listen, I'm sorry if I offended you. Um, I'm not a cult. Uh, I'm just a regular dude doing my thing, having fun, vibing with people of the reptile community. Community. Much love to you and your family. I hope everything goes well for you. I definitely don't want to continue this hate stuff. So if you're hearing this right now, much love. You can do and say whatever you'd like. I just want you to know that I'm not about that. I really feel that I'm above that. 
It has been hurting my feelings to be part of another one of these drama cycles. Guys, I'm Ed with TGH. I'm all about that positivity movement. Hashtag positivity movement. I'm with it. Are you with it? Great. Then I'll see you on the next vlog.